Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this look at Zenon Racer, the upcoming fast-paced action arcade racer coming to all consoles and the PC later this month on the 26th of March. Um, slight difference today is um, I have actually done a video on Zenon before. I was on the PC, the closed beta and I was on controller. Today's video I'm on the PlayStation. This is the retail copy. Thank you 3D Class for sending me early so I could make this video. Um, this is the PlayStation full retail release. Um, and instead of controller, I'm going to be using my trusty Thrustmaster TGT Gran Turismo wheel and seeing what the game is like um, on the wheel. So let's get in, let's have a look. So the first thing I want to show you, um, as I was unable to in the closed beta because it was locked off, is the campaign, um, the single player element of the game. So let's, let's have a look at that. Love the presentation, the way it takes you down into each uh, individual section. Love it. Right, okay, so the campaign is um, dealt with in sectors. Uh, to move on to the next sector, you have to meet the objective. So, for example, it starts very, very easy on the three tracks that were in the closed beta. So you've already seen these, and the objective is to be fifth. Quite easy. Then the difficulty ramps up. Uh, Boston and Port R and Dubai Island. I'm going to show you them two races. The objective is to become third. Um, and then it gets, starts getting quite difficult. Uh, Boston uh, 100R, that's your objective is to become first. And the Miami Seaside, which is an awesome track, you've got to be f um, first there as well. First there. And then it just goes up and up. And it is um, quite a difficult game. It's not, you know, it's an arcade racer, but there's a, a huge element on skill and control of your car. And I love that. And I think that's going to be the longevity into the future. So this is, this is how it's all going to work. And obviously you can't move on from these sectors until you've come first in all of these so it is being quite strict you have got to come first in all of these races by the looks of it um, and you can get an idea of the tracks as well um, Shanghai, Cote d'Azur, uh, Dubai, um, Tokyo Expo there's a good airport track as well so that's that's how the single player aspect is going to work um, we have also got edge mode now that's for practice really, uh, you can do time attack, checkpoint attack, elimination or free mode, or you can do the tutorial as well. This, as I say, this is the PlayStation and in the very latest version you have got the option to go for quality or performance. So I've set mine to quality, this is the PlayStation 4 Pro, it should be able to take that. This is built in the Unreal Engine, so tried and tested, really well working engine for the consoles. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the races and see what this bad boy is like to control the steering wheel. So Boston Port R, this is um, it's a lovely track, all at night time. And I still can't decide which um, which view I'm going to use. I still can't decide. On the controller, it felt very natural to go um, with this route. But on the steering wheel, um, I like to be inside the car. And I don't know which one suits me best. I really don't. But as you can see, it's awesome with the steering wheel. And it's so great that it's got steering wheel support. Um, a nice bit of choice. Um, you don't have to use it, but it's nice that it's there. So the idea of the game is um, to drift your way through these tracks and you can see bottom right, the more I'm drifting um, and getting kinetic energy up to the ERS system, which is the boost system, um, then we can boost pa past our opponents, hitting the wall on the way. But it's a very, very skill-based competitive game. It really, really is cool. And it works really well on the steering wheel. Accumulator has been I don't know whether 3D clouds are going to put in different leaderboards because I think this is going to be a very leaderboard based game, uh, very competitive. Um, you'll get you'll get the absolute beasts at this that can just do times you didn't even know were possible. But it will be handy to know whether it's a steering wheel or controller. I don't know whether that's possible. Whether that's something 3D clouds have got planned. Now we can use the boost all the way. Look at this, look. And the track looks fantastic. Absolutely Two fantastic. To go. Very, very detailed. As I say, working in the Unreal Engine, it looks fantastic. So this is just the campaign mode. Uh, very soon, when it gets released uh, next week, the multiplayer servers are going to be crammed full of people. Uh, we've put in the most awesome times and it's going to be very very competitive and I think that's where um, that's where the majority of people are going to spend their time I think uh, will be in the multiplayer servers taking on showing your skills off um, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to go for that view or this view I quite like this view it has got an in-car view uh, which is a shame 
but this this feels most natural to me as a as a racer if you like as a sim racer so this view feels the most natural for the game if you know what I mean you know this is this is pure arcade isn't it um, and it works really well and especially with some of the other cars they've all got their own uh, personality quirks some of the cars they've all got bits that move bits that protrude as you boost uh, but for me I suppose as a racer that seems that seems the most natural um, most natural uh, position to play it in but well, I can't wait to get it for the Switch I think this will be a massive title for the Switch there's nothing really like this is there um, so I think it's going to be fantastic I really like the game really like it and I should imagine I haven't tried it yet because obviously the servers aren't up but multiplayer will be absolutely awesome and you can't just um, go around using using the barriers because I know you can't see it because it's behind me but there is a damage meter for your car um, and if you reach 100% damage um, you get reset on the track and that reset could be really damaging um, to your time so you want to try and stay away from each other so we are going to have clean racing in this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm far from that at the moment. But yeah, the idea is to have some real professional um, drifters around here. Really enjoying the tracks and the car. I think it'd be fantastic. I think it'd be quite um, a spectacle to watch. Some real pros around here um, drifting. Yeah, I think it'd be fantastic. Right, let me show you the other track. So Dubai Island, again, I don't think you saw this one on the closed beta, so hopefully I'm showing you new content here. And I will do some more videos as well, showcasing future tracks. I just want to show you these two tracks. Um, and the idea was to give you an idea that obviously it's out um, at the end of the week, on the 26th of March. It's got full steering wheel support. <laughs> And it's cool. It is cool. I had a lot of fun playing the closed beta on the controller, actually. Um, but it's nice to see the actual um, PlayStation version in action. And you can control the drift as well. You know, once you put the car in the drift, you can control the arc of it by tapping uh, the brake. There is a lot of skill. It's not just a very, very simple um, point-and-shoot uh, racer. There is a huge element of skill. And I think that's going to get really, really flushed out when... Um, when the multiplayer servers go up, I really do. <laughs> oh, but the presentation. Oh, look at this drift. Look. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> no, don't look at that drift. But the presentation of the game overall is fantastic. Oh yes. See, it's just it's just practice. It's like anything. I've only had a couple of hours on this because it's brand spanking new. Um, and I wanted to get this video out for you uh, before it's released just to show you, uh, give you an idea of what it's going to look like on the PlayStation, but it's like anything. Nice bit of practice, few hours spent in here, you are going to be owning this track and car. And I think there's over 20 tracks, yeah, um, huge amount of cars, you can race all the tracks in reverse. So I don't think, um, I don't think there's going to be a shortage of content. Actually, I will end with one of the tracks. Um, that I'm having a lot of trouble on, a lot of trouble, but I want to show you the track um, because it looks it looks fantastic. But I cannot get first place on that one. I do need to lower the difficulty. I'm not sure if I can do that halfway through a campaign or whether I'd have to start again. In fact, let's end this race now um, and let's go over to that track. So Lake Louise, I cannot get first on this one. This is as far as my practice and grinding has taken me. Uh, but I want to, most importantly, I want to show you the track because it looks absolutely stunning. It really, really does. It's full, of, it's full of detail, um, and it looks really nice. But it's all good practice. It's all good practice, and it keeps you grinding away. But the track design, I think you'll agree, is fantastic. Very, very interesting tracks. I hope you keep keep you interested um, as you go through the campaign and then go on to online. And obviously you get these um, boost um, parts on the track to pick up, or you get them by, um, by drifting. And very different to other games actually, sometimes um, with drifting games or if you get a bonus when you're drifting, if you hit the wall you, you don't get the bonus, well on this you do, so even if you, it, it, it refills as you drift, so even if you drift but you end up hitting a wall, because that can get really frustrating. Um, if you keep getting your drift uh, yeah, points taken away from you, um, even if you hit the wall at the end of your drift, you'll still get the bonus in the boost, uh, which, is, which is quite nice. But yeah, I'm finding this particular race um, 
quite the struggle. Yeah, but that's fine. I just need a bit more practice. But like I say, I wanted to show you the. Uh, I wanted to show you the actual track. But the lighting looks really nice, as it should on the Unreal Engine. It's tried and tested, especially for the PlayStation. It's fantastic. I'm sure I hit him last time. <laughs> and again, look at the rearview mirror, the hologram, which I think is fantastic. I love that. It's one of my favourite parts of the game. The fact that you can just glance from behind you. Should be using the handbrake there. There is a handbrake as well. Um, but my skill level is only just starting out, so I need I need some more practice. The ERS this. system just reloaded. Final lap. See, I'm fifth at the moment, but to actually progress in the campaign, I need to be first. There's no like second or third. I need to be first. So it's challenging. It's definitely challenging. But you can see how much how much in, how much I'm interacting with the world. You know, it's it's all hands on deck um, to, to get these drifts out. The main thing is you you, you know you want to stay away from what I'm doing now, which is hitting the side, because once once you get reset, it pretty much, especially when you have to be first, it's pretty much over. I don't think you're going to recover from um, a reset onto the track when you've got 100% damage and then go on to, uh, to win the race. I don't think that's possible. ERS is so, which is good. That stops people just riding the uh, the curves. Oh, riding yeah. the uh, the barriers to victory. We don't want that. We want this to be... You, we want you to win because of your skill. <laughs> Brilliant. It's a good feeling when you get that boost, though. It's so fast. It really, really is. And this track, this car is absolutely awesome, actually. Look at the way it, um, forget about winning. Look, watch the car now. Uh, when we, look, look at the way it all expands. It's like a transformer. I love it. The car design is ingenious in this game. It really, really is. I've got a fifth in there. Not good enough. Has to be first. I need some more practice. Well, there it is, everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Just showing you what you're going to expect from Xenom Racer. Um, as I say, coming out on the 26th of March to all consoles, including the Switch. I will be doing a stream on the, uh, on the Switch as well. I think it would be a fantastic coup um, title to have on the Switch. I think it will be really, really cool. That is it, everyone. Uh, if you want a multiplayer night on here and you're thinking of getting it and you want to um, have a stream where we all get together and have a stream, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do that. That is it, everyone. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you in the next one.